What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with your boy Frank Lean. Right, um, if this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out my channel. Um, my name is Frank Lean, I'm the brain behind this channel. So, my channel is pretty eclectic. I talk about everyday topics that affect pretty much every facet of, of our lives, okay? And then I'm also into food recipes and vlogs and whatnot, okay? So that's that, if you like what I'm about, Give me the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell button so you can get latest updates on my videos. So this particular story um, caught my attention. It's a really, really devastating one. And another thing is, I've had several emails uh, from some of you um, guys. A couple of emails actually in the past about you know people who have. Um, been abused and stuff like that who've lived with maybe one of their parents or relatives or some 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 but somebody actually sent me an email about being in foster care home and how you know they were touched in inappropriately and all that stuff so i've been a bit you know i've been a bit careful because i know things like this are very sensitive topic and i'm always very careful not to um inflict you know such stories that are very close to people's hearts um with any degree of disrespect of you know malhandling you know the situation so i got slightly panicky and i've sort of um, just had them in the background on the shelf for a bit but this story came out a few days ago so a nigerian you know man was jailed in the u.s incarcerated for 90 years for fathering six children with his own daughters you know, and I'll also explain, I'm going to read, you know, give you a bit of a background into that. And then uh, I will add some things, some of my own views on top of it. So let's crack on. Um, so this guy is an award winning Nigerian music director. His name is Aswad Ayinde. Um, he was found guilty of fathering, you know, children with his daughter's and will spend the rest of his life in jail. He's a 55 year old man, uh, lives in Patterson, or used to live in Patterson, New Jersey in the United States. He was recently sentenced to 50 years in prison on, I think, was it last Friday or something, um, after being found guilty in, in, the, in the second of five expected trials in which he's accused of repeatedly R-A-P-I-N-G <clears throat> his, you know, his daughters. The reason I would have to spell some of those words, strangely, the YouTube algorithm works in such ways that you, you can imagine this kind of content. We are putting it out for awareness. We're not trivializing the matter. It's to educate ourselves, to keep people informed. But you'd be surprised that the YouTube algorithm just, I'd say senselessly, flag your video because you're talking about this type of topics. It might even say, oh, advertisers, <clears throat> wouldn't like to align with this kind of content. So if I was the owner of a business and I was putting money out on YouTube's platform to advertise my services and stuff, why would I feel bad about my adverts showing on this type of content, which is exposing, you know, filthy people like this man and at the same time educating people. But so that's why you would find me spelling certain words because as soon as you pronounce those words, your video is going to get flagged. It's as simple as that. So, basically, uh, repeatedly, R-A-P-I-N-G is six daughters resulting in six children being fathered. Mr. Ayinde was found guilty in his latest trial of having inter C-O-U-R-S-E with a daughter when she was as young as eight years old. My goodness. <clears throat> The second sentence adds to the 40-year sentence Mr. Ayinde received, very good, in 2011 trial for S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y, you know, assaulting a separate daughter. Mr. Ayinde is known for directing the music video of the Fuji's 1996 smash hit, Killing Me Softly. Strong me my pains with your finger, killing da 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 He basically directed that video. Um, in a disturbing disclosure during his first trial, Mr. Ayinde's former wife said he was trying to create a pure family bloodline by impregnating his daughters. Man, that's some high-level mental health problem. <clears throat> 
He even claimed during the pre-trial before the first trial that the world was going to end and it was just going to be him and his offspring and that he was chosen. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this, a bit, bit lengthy, but the reason is very important that if you're watching this, you probably haven't heard of this news and then it gives you you know a background into what we're talking about in the latest trial it was revealed Mr. Ainde began having inter C with his second daughter from the time she was eight years old and impregnating her four times the S-E-X-U-A-L A-S-S-A-U-L-T-S happened for almost 30 years until Mr. Ainde and his wife separated official said they occurred in numerous homes across northern New Jersey, even while family was on the watch of state child welfare officials, according to NBC New York. Some of the RAPS even took place in an abandoned funeral home. My goodness. The family moving as far as Florida to avoid investigation after case workers removed multiple children from the Ayinde household in 2000. Um, resulting in Mr. Anyade being arrested for K-I-D-N-A-W-P-I-N-G for trying to take them from state custody in the medical center, NBC New York reported. He pleaded guilty to lesser charges and received a year's probation as he continued R-A-P-I-N-G one daughter for at least another two years according to officials, right? The depraved father also beat and starved the girls using wooden boards and steel toed boots for even minor transgressions. Uh, his wife testified at the first trial. Some of the children Ainde fathered with his daughters were born in the home with at least two babies who died in the home after having been buried without notifying authorities of obtaining birth certificates. Now, he tortured the daughters, uh, they were homeschooled and isolated from other children so as to keep the family's secrets hidden. Um, now, check this out. With his wife too afraid to confront him, Mr. Ayinde carried out his evil plan without hindrance even while directing the music video for the Fuji's 1996 breakout hit Killing Me Softly for which he won Best R&B Video at the 1996 MTV Music Video Awards. The Fuji's are also originally from Northern New Jersey. Now, one of the reasons this caught my attention, like I said, these sort of um, behavior is prevalent in the black community. Oh my goodness. I've said this in the previous video. I actually don't remember which, which of the episodes now. And it's like a taboo. In fact, one of the first things that people do that I've, I've, I've seen that I'm aware of is they try to cover up. They cover up, not even try to cover up, they cover up and um, it's like you don't talk about it. So basically an uncle or father has done something, something as serious as this what they then do is the cover up and stuff. So you see what I'm not buying into is his wife too afraid to confront him. You were too afraid to confront him. You're a woman. You carried these children each for nine months. These are your children and you. So basically, as far as I'm concerned, correct me if I'm wrong here. The woman had a knowledge of the plethora of A, B, U, S, E, right? That happened for many years. She was thoroughly aware, okay? Now, you don't have to confront him yourself. Nobody's asking you to physically do something to him whereby he might be able to overpower you and obliterate you. But you had the abundance of opportunity. Abundance being the objective word here. You had the abundance of opportunity to have notified the relevant officials that would have taken the door off the hinges and clamped down this man and curtailed that cycle of A, B, U, S, E. But you didn't. You didn't. You, you were too afraid. So, by so doing, this man had the opportunity to go for many years and repeatedly and repeatedly carried out these absolutely despicable actions against his children. There is somebody watching this 
there are a ton of women this is why you know the what we made the idea of marriage in our community in our society what that it's been interpreted as and made out to be drives me nuts personally this is why I don't exist in a box I'm a non-conformist I exist outside the box okay if this is wrong this is wrong let's talk about it let's expose it because you cannot tell me that this is exactly what some of the things I've said in the past when you see it's the same thing if you're in a, an abusive relationship you know you can see but you sit down there you are too afraid but there were vulnerable children being taken advantage of that woman in my own opinion should also be jailed because you're an accomplice Yoruba, there's a Yoruba adage if you're not Yoruba, sorry there's a Yoruba adage only ento bebo laja konyoli ento baso kale gongoluli so yeah, you might not be directly involved in those heinous crimes against those children, but you became aware, okay? You Then you claim to be too afraid. What was it that you were afraid of losing? What was it that you were afraid of disseminating to the authorities? Because of course, of course, if somebody is involved in A, B, you know s e x u a l a b u s e and you confront the person they're more than likely going to charge at you want to do something to you to prevent you from you know exposing them of course but you have the abundance of opportunity i i it's absolutely devastating he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison which which is a fantastic outcome but how about those children how the the, the the children that those children gave birth to how do you begin to explain the filth to them imagine the traumatizing effect that's going to have on their respective lives in going forward those children might never and, and their own children might never even gain closure for the rest of their days on this planet so it's prevailing in our community oh my god so a word of advice if you're watching this if you call yourself a mum, you're in a relationship, you caught your man or your boyfriend or your fiance or whatever, you catch them or your cousin or anybody red-handed indulging in S-E-X-U-A-L-A-B-U-S-E -E, and you look away and you do nothing about it, you are as bad as that person. So it's my reasonable submission that you are complicit in that evil act. You have an awareness, you look away. Somebody's doing that to your children or some other vulnerable children and you say nothing. It means you're a complicit. If you're a man and you know of any female or any other man or anybody in your family or your partner, your woman, you catch your woman out doing anything with your children that's inappropriate and you do nothing about it. Do you come about sorrow? Because, oh, because of shame. Then you're in fact shameless, you're callous, you're evil, and you deserve to be banged up. That's me done. I, 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 I just hope and pray that the people involved, you know, gain um, a closure. It's a prevalent problem in our society. It's, it's, it's deep. I've, I've personally, since running this channel and doing this say like it is segment, I've had tons of emails, like I said earlier, people telling me that, you know, they are, really dark stories about being victims of you know these sort of um nasty treatments that span across many years you know victims of rape uh, all sorts and some of them would say oh their their dad their dad was aware that their dad's brother their uncle did such and such but their dad looked the other way because of family ties <laughs> In your com somebody <laughs> somebody will visit heaven. Really? People because of family ties. This is what I'm saying, because of sentiment. Because of family ties. Because the person is my own your 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 brother, your uncle, because the person is your husband. So is it worth damaging the lives of your your offsprings, your children? That's your future right there. And clutching onto or latching onto um um a relationship with somebody who is evidently a monster 
let's keep the conversation going on below. Um, um, this one shakes me to the core of my being. It's 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 heart gripping. It's really really gut wrenching. Anyway, that's me done. What do you think? Let's keep the conversation going on below in the comment section. It's your boy Franklin. Thank you for watching, and I'll definitely definitely I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye now.